Time to spring forward and push your clocks up an hour. Sunday marks the beginning of daylight saving time, which also unfortunately means we'll lose an hour of sleep. All together now. <sighs> it's not like this is anything new, though. Daylight saving has been around since about 1918. Nonetheless, it's still something to complain about and apparently something to beware of, too. A researcher from the University of Washington told USA Today Sleepy Monday should be more like Risky Monday. He's documented an increase in workplace injuries and the severity of those injuries and more cyber loafing, looking at online entertainment websites and so cute kittens instead of working. Other research shows that heart attack rates and car accidents are significantly higher on Sleepy Monday. But it's not just Monday. On Tuesday and Wednesday, there's also an increased risk of injury. When it comes to car accidents, the risk is about 6% higher than normal on the two days following the spring forward. So then, what are the benefits of the time change? Well, with longer daylight hours, people are more likely to spend time outside, which is healthy. Plus, how would Danny and Sandy have found each other without those long summer nights? And on the upside, Time points out, your body will adjust to the time change, similar to jet lag. But if you're still whining, the president of the American Academy of Sleep Medicine basically told the magazine, suck it up. One hour variation is not a big deal. It's not a major factor if you have healthy sleep habits. You have enough physiological reserve to make the adjustment. And the best tip to prepare? Simple. Go to bed earlier. For Newsy, I'm Jasmine Bailey.